Huh. You know, I, I would try and pet the snack. I would try and pet the snack. <laughs> oh, am I poisoned? Yes. Yes, Jill, you are. I need serum. So now I'm pretty sure that puts you on a timer to go get the serum, which is back where you got Richards, which is fine. That was pretty much where I was going to go anyways. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Honestly, I wonder, I don't know if you could even, I, I'm like, I'm overthinking this now so much, but I'm like thinking about whether or not you could pet the snack or not. Like, is there a way to pet Yawn in Resident Evil? I don't know. I genuinely do not. actually made it to the uh we made it to the serum room without taking too much damage and at this point we can just shelve the the regular shotgun because we got the assault shotgun a better weapon in every single way Literally, every single way. It's just a better shotgun. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. What we need are all of the masks. At this stage. Um, I think I'm going to make a safety save just because I am not, I'm a little fuzzy on what comes next, believe it or not. Yeah, I, the shotgun is the quintessential zombie killer. I was, uh, I was talking about it during the tests that went horribly wrong, um, that my favorite, my favorite weapon in literally every single Resident Evil game generally the shotgun um but in this case we're, we're ditching the regular one from the floor trap one for richard's fancy one because it's fancy and better and it makes cooler sounds too we're gonna have a lot of inventory space from putting those masks on the, the things yeah it'll it'll make sense once we get there we're headed back down into the crypt believe it or not back out into the courtyard yeah let me look let me look at the look at the map the only room that we haven't explored that we even could explore at this point is that one red room and that I'll I'll just deal with later when we're a little bit more overpowered because <laughs> yeah we're I'm I am very interested in playing Dead Rising uh, actually just because it's 
It's Capcom's goofy, wacky zombie game. I just, I don't have a 360 and I don't know if it came to anything else. Okay. So what we want to do is match the masks up. You. Want to match the masks up. Oh, we do not like that. Which one is this? Hole where the nose should be. If it's on Steam, I could pull that off. Stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. Got one for that, too. I'm just gonna... Eh, we save first. If this goes badly, I'll improvise. But don't play the Wii one? Is that the the chop till you drop one that I had heard about? Also, uh, Alpha Crimson. This thing is basically just a crimson head, but I think it can take more of a beating. Emphasis on think. Because it still goes down pretty much Although, look at how much damage I took. I think I got slashed once. Maybe twice. I'm gonna pop that mixer just in case. Um, yeah. But five, four shotgun shots, because I missed one. Press the switch. Take the stone and metal object. And booyah. I believe that is it for the crypt. Wikipedia says it's on Windows, but not Steam, so I might just have to play the PS4 version if it's not on Steam, but it's on Windows, because I am Windows Game Store phobic. I'm trying to do the stair skating that they do in speedruns. I don't know how to do it, though. Sometimes I'm used to the fixed camera, um, the fixed camera alternate controls, because I play a lot of Devil May Cry, but, okay, yeah, I mean, if the PS4 version's fine, that's, that works for me, it just means I'll need to rearrange my streaming setup sometime, because <laughs> it's, it's currently very much so not set up to, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Uh, play PS4 games or any console games. For those of you who don't know, um, I suppose I could put a, a crack on, or I could put a picture of this on stream sometime. My, so I have two monitors. One of them's a, a display or a, a DVI one, and the other one's HDMI. And back when I did a lot of console games on stream, I used the HDMI one as sort of not necessarily a backup monitor, but like as the game monitor, like how I have, I have Resident Evil on this screen here, in front of the camera, and on that screen, the stream. But in the process of moving my computer around, um, when it was broken and when I was putting it back together and fixing it and stuff, um, I tripped over it while I was on the phone with someone. And so, oop. Oh, fudge monkeys. Well, that was two daggers gone. Uh, okay, can't even use that there. Um, might want to burn that one. Eh, 
Eh. Yeah, no. So I tripped over my monitor while moving things and put a a crack in it, like an LCD style crack in the display. So it's got these beautiful looking lines running through it now. And I, all I did was put that thing we got from the crypt in there. Um, but yeah, so until I can actually get a new monitor, um, I was pretty much shut down from streaming console games. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm not going to say send bits or donate for new monitor. I just, I need to get a new monitor at some point. And it's not been an overwhelming priority since I haven't been, like, streaming or anything. So here we're faced with two roads. Yes, I am up in the corner. Hi, Andrew. In the dark. I'm playing in the dark because it's a scary game. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Language. You know, I'm up in the corner because it's a spooky, scary game. Nope, I don't like... Okay, so now I'm out of daggers. And, okay, I'm just... How am I alive? I don't think I should be alive. I can tell you Jill does in fact have an apartment. No cats though. <laughs> when she's not working, I imagine she uh she watches uh a crime dramas. I, I assume Jill's a fairly normal human being, all things considered. I wouldn't be surprised if she had a cat. She seems like a cat person. Uh, not to say that I'm some sort of authority on Jill Valentine, but as square-shaped hole. Yeah. So we need to go find something for that square-shaped hole. Um, as somebody who's played a lot of Resident Evil 3 Remake and played this game in the original one, yeah. No, she <laughs> she's most certainly not a dog person. Honestly, the only dog person I think in Resident Evil would be Leon. And that's just because you get to save the dog at the start of 4. 